from Sand Key, Clearwater, and beaches north to Fort DeSoto at Lands End in the south. Pinellas County officials are making the case that beaches do more than give Florida a pretty face. Pinellas beaches produce 82,000 jobs and just a little less than 1% of the state's gross domestic product. The whole Gulf side of, of uh, Pinellas County is essentially barrier islands, which are uh, absolutely wonderful beach environments. The price tag for fixing the erosion and other damage to the beaches has been raised to $25 million. And with an uncertain political climate in Tallahassee and Washington, receiving the aid isn't a slam dunk, even if the county's beach access parks are used by 8 million visitors a year. Okay, so this is what Florida is about, you know, the vacation spot. I think they're extremely important, especially people who come from cold climates. They're looking for that escape from reality. There's always been a fascination by mankind with water. Uh, and there's probably no more natural place to come and see the water than to go to the beach. The reason for fixing the beaches include the fact that while the state coastline is about half sandy beaches, Pinellas's 38-mile length is 92% beach, with just three miles given over to other landforms. And while some 39% of visitors to Miami hit beaches there, 94% of visitors here go to the beach. Opponents of fixing the beaches cite the cost and the sentiment that beaches, created by wave action bringing in sand from offshore, should be left to nature to tend. If we never had allowed development on the beach, and just allowed it to pursue its natural course of action, then I could go along with that kind of concept. Uh, but when we have allowed by law and permitting uh, development to occur on the beach uh, and for uh, economic impact to be associated with that development, then we have an obligation to maintain that. If the federal and state governments agree to pay, Pinellas County would have to come up with 20 percent of the cost of renourishing the beaches damaged by Debbie. Generally, that money comes from the county's tourism fund. I'm Bob Hill reporting from the Pinellas County Beaches.